Hi everyone, and you are welcome to this lecture, PKL module. In this lecture, we are going to understand the meaning of serialization and deserialization. We will learn about PKL module, and we will see some code examples about how we can PKL and unpeakle data using PKL module. Finally, I will end up this lecture by a quick summary. So let's get started. First of all, I'm going to define what serialization and deserialization are. Serialization is the process of transforming a complex object into a stream of bytes that can be saved to a hard disk or sent over a network. One of the first common use cases of serialization is when you want to run a time-consuming process and you want to restore the results of this process later on quickly. So the perfect solution in this case is to dump this result in the hard disk. And serialization will help you to do that because this is the process of converting this data into bytes that can be saved on the hard disk. This serialization actually is the reverse process or the opposite process which will take a stream of bytes and convert this stream of byte back into original data structure so you can use it again in your program. Now let's talk about PKL module. Pickle is a module used for serializing and deserializing Python objects structure. You have to know that in context of Pickle module, serialization is called pickling and deserialization is called unpickling. Also, there is very important point that not all Python objects are serializable using Pickle module. So sometimes if you find some errors while you use this module, this is because not all objects are serializable. Also, you have to know that pickle module is Python specific and the result of a pickling process can be read only by another Python program. And this is a quite important point because if you pickle some data using pickle module, you have to unpickle this data also using pickle module, not using other programming languages. Also, it's important to know that even if you are working with Python, pickle module evolve over time, which means if you pickle some data using Python 3.6, for example, and then you downgrade your Python version into Python 3.0, maybe the data cannot unpickled again because some features which are available in Python 3.6 could not be available in Python 3.0. Currently, we have the following version of Pickle protocol. We have version 3, which was added in Python 3.0. We have version 4, which is added with Python 3.4. And the latest version, which is Pickle protocol version 5, which was added in Python 3.8. Now let's move to PyCharm IDE to see some code examples about Pickle module. The first example that I want to show is the following. As you might have list1, which is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, and I have list2, which is equal to 4, 3, 2, and 1. Then I say new list, which is equal to list1 plus list2, which means I want to concat list1 and list2 together inside list, and this is the final result. This is the new list. Now let's say I want to save this list in a pickle file, so I can restore this file easily later on. In order to do that, I will import pickle and look it's a built-in module inside Python. Then I will open a file and the file path for this module is the following. So it's in user summer desktop and it's named dummy pickle.pkl. So this is the extension. Using with, I will open a file and the file path is the one that has been mentioned. And because the data is a binary data, so I will open it for writing binary as f. Now, what I want is to save the list LST inside a file. So for this, I will say pickle.dump, which means I want to dump data. The data that I want to dump is list inside the file f. Now, if I run this simple program, and then I will go to this directory to show you if we have this dummy pickle. So as you see here, a new file, it's named dummy pickle.pkl, has been created. And you have to know that pickle standard is not a human readable, which means if you try to read the actual content of the file, will not be understood for you. Now, I will remove everything, and I want to see how I can restore now the data, which is list in this case, from my file. I will import pickle module, then I will open the file. Which file? Exactly the one that I have created before. So with open, file path. And now because I want to restore the data from the file, so I will say read binary as f, then I will say lstpkl, which means the list that will come from the pickle file. 
equal to pickle dot load. I use load function now because I want to load the data from the file which is f. After that, I will print lst pickle and I will run. As you see here, I got exactly the same list that has been saved before. From this, we can understand that dump function, usually we use it for serialization or pickling process and load function, we use it for deserialization or for unpickling. We see together now how we can dump and load data from a file. And this is useful when I want to dump data inside the hard disk. Now, but what if I want to convert the data into pro bytes in order to send over network? So for example, assume I have the following list and I want to send this data as bytes over a network. So I have to pickle it, but the content should be within a variable in this case. So I will say st equal to pickle dot dump s in this case. Dump s which means dump these bytes within a string lst. And let me print now lst which is my list and the pickled version of my list which is st. Then I will run. As you see here, I got my list because of the first print statement. And then I got some bytes, as you see here. Look, this B, which means binary. And we cannot read the content because, as I mentioned before, pickle standard is not a human readable. Now, assume I send these bytes over a network, for example, to another laptop or computer. And I want to read now the actual data. How I can do that? Let me say LST after load equal to. I will use also pickle module, but now I will use load s. Load s which means load from string, and in this case it's string of bytes, its name st. If I print now list after load, run, you will see here that I restore exactly the same object that has been pickled before. And this is what we need from pickle module. And that's all for this code session. Now let's summarize what we have learned in this lecture. First of all, serialization has been defined as converting Python object into stream of bytes. And in context of pickle module, this process is called pickling. The opposite of this process is deserialization or unpickling, in which we take stream of bytes and we convert these bytes again into a Python object. You have to keep in your mind that not all object types are serializable. And pickle module is Python specific and evolves over time which mean pickled data using Python should be unpickled also using Python programming language. And you have to be careful from Python versions because a new version pickled data could not be restored by older version of pickle module. Please refer to the file pickle module appendix in which you will find all the functions have been mentioned in this lecture have been summarized. Also, please refer to the file pickle module challenges in which you will find some challenges to practice what you have learned in this lecture. Thank you very much for your time and if you are available, join me in the next lecture.